Hi, in this video, we will talk about capture full page screenshot in Playwright. So sometimes I want to capture the full page screenshot. If, if I'm executing any text cases, I want to see whether the particular page is loading properly or any requirement. But your requirement is to capture the full page screenshot. So how we can do that with Playwright that we will discuss in this video. So I created a class called capture full page screenshot test and I created a test ng method called full page screenshot. So full page screenshot means we need to understand one. So I'll go to this playwright.dev. Okay. And you see that when you scroll, there are something, some content is there. This is only visible area in the uh, non visible area. Also, we have some text or whatever information you want. So if you say full page screenshot, it will take the entire page from the bottom to, sorry, from the top to this bottom. Okay. So, and if you go to another website, so this is automation testing that in, but if you observe the behavior here, so the data which is there in the non-visible area, this is it, the moment when you scroll, then only it will load. Otherwise it will not load. Okay. So how the behavior of these, you know, both the websites we will see. Okay. So now let me go to here. Let me create a playwright instance. Playwright.chromium.launch new browser type dot launch options set headless false dot new page. So I created page instance. Now page dot navigate. So I'll go to this URL on the way playwright dot dev. It is so let me take T here only. Playwright dot dev. And then now page dot you have one of the options called screenshot. Inside the screenshot, you have new screenshot options dot set path. You need to take the path where you want to store. Okay. Then paths dot get where I want. So in the screenshots folder, you see that I have a screenshots folder as part of our previous video. So in our previous video, what we did, we have taken element screenshot. So page dot locator dot screenshot new locator dot screen dot screenshot options dot set path we have set the path to here screenshot slash logo dot png in the same location the screen uh, screenshots folder i am capturing the full page also okay new page screenshot options dot set path paths dot get screenshots slash full page dot png okay and then dot set full page let me mention true okay you need to mention png okay in the screenshots folder with this name full page dot png i am creating and what is that code page dot screenshot Inside that a new page dot screenshot options dot set path where you want to save and with the name and then set full page true. Okay, that's it. And then red dot sleep two seconds just play red dot close. Okay, so now we'll execute and see the behavior. So in the screenshots folder, it will create with 
will be h dot png. It's done. And if you click on this full page dot png, and you see that it took the entire page. Okay. If you zoom, you see that it took the entire page. Okay. So what about this kind of behavior? The moment when you scroll, then only it will load the content. Okay. So what I'll do instead of full page, I say playwright.png and I'll navigate to that website automation testing.in after this I'll navigate to this page and I'll name it as automation testing.png Okay, so we'll we'll see the behavior of different types of you no know, websites and the way it is displaying the data. Okay, let me rerun this. And you observe the behavior now. Two screenshots is took. Playwright.png. So this is already we have seen. So it is taking like this. If you go to automation PNG, you see that. You see the entire, you know, which is not loaded by default, it's not showing. Okay. So the moment when it is loaded the page, so this much is loaded on that. So that only it captured. But it took till end of the page. You see that in the end of the page, you have these options, right? So this is the behavior, right? If it is already loaded, it will take the content. If it is not loaded, it will not. Okay, but uh, it has taken the full page screenshot. So this is how you can capture the full page screenshot of a particular web page. Okay, so that's all in this video. Thank you for watching this video. So please like the video, share the video and now put your thoughts in the comment section and subscribe to the channel for interesting updates. Thank you.